morning everybody so it's quite early and I'm so so tired literally um it's not that I didn't get to sleep it's just that I haven't slept long enough like my body needs a lot more, lot more sleep than the average person so I'm extremely tired right now um but we're getting ready to leave in a minute um we're leaving a little bit earlier because again we don't have a letter to tell us whereabouts it is. We know which building it is. What the heck is going on? What is going on? <laughs> we know roughly what building it's in. Um, so we can go there and just ask somebody and they can direct us. Because they have like a load of like information, people like volunteers and stuff. It's quite cold. Well, at least I'm feeling the cold so I've got my cardigan on. Um, and I'll play it over my calendars. It's a cold. <laughs> it is cold, isn't it? I don't know what's wrong with us. I'm meant to be hard Englishmen. What's wrong with this country as well? It's supposed to be summer. <laughs> it's summer and we're having to wear bloody jackets. I mean, last night I was cold and I was wearing like two tops. I was wearing like a, like what I've got on now and like a top over the top and wrapped myself in the quilt and I was really cold still. So I think if it's like that again tonight, which I think it is, then I'm gonna have to put my it's supposed to be Wednesday. thicker um, pajama bottoms on tonight. But anyway, I think we're ready to go. I just need to make sure I grab my big medical folder because it's got all my notes from my previous cardiologist and all my like test results and stuff like that. And you don't know whether it's gonna be an echo anyway. Well, yeah, that's that's what I said yesterday, guys. Like we don't know whether it's gonna be an echo or um, a halter monitor fit in, or I actually am seeing the cardiologist. So. To be on the safe side, I think we're just gonna take everything and get there a little bit earlier just so we've got enough time to figure out what the plan is. So what country are we in? <laughs> in England. Ooh. We just got caught in a rainstorm. Literally it was blowing a gale. Ooh. So we're on our way. <laughs> getting my halter monitor guys hey guys so i'm home and i have been for some time but me and tom were so tired as soon as we got him we went straight to bed pretty much um so i'm gonna show you the halter monitor but first you guys you know these um sticky things they have like these bits on them and i always say that they're like monsters toenails <laughs> um anyways you have this bit of like tape that kind of pulls off the edge to make it stick flat down and i always joke about how these are like monsters toenails i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this I just know, I just think it's quite funny. We always joke about it. Um, but anywho, it's just like I always play with them in the hospital, like the little tags. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna just quickly get changed into a sports bra so I can show you the monitor properly. And I'm gonna film this video regardless, but do let me know down below if if you guys would be interested in seeing um, like a halter monitor and how it works kind of thing and what to expect because I've had I don't know, probably like 10, 15 of them now since I started having heart problems. Um, so if you guys are interested, I do have quite an experience and I could film a video, which I will because obviously I only have this for 24 hours, so I can't wait for you guys' reply. Um, so do let me know in the comments if you want to see it and if you do, then I can upload it for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna put on a sport, sports bra so I can show you properly, otherwise my boobs are going to be out and we don't want that. Um, okay, so I have so I have altogether five um, electrodes and they're basically a sticky pad with like a gel back. So the gel goes onto your skin and there's a metal bit that these, if I come closer, these little nodules like kind of clip onto. Um, and then they're obviously, the nurses just put tape over that to keep them in place so they're not going to move. Um... So basically this is what it looks like and then I'll show you the this one um, that's kind of stuck underneath my rib cage and then the rest are stuck on my chest and that's kind of on my boob a bit. Um, I thought I had one there then. Um, and then the actual, you know, my tube's getting tangled and everything. And then the actual little device that you carry around is clipped onto my shorts so it looks like this. And every time I have an event, or I feel like I don't want to record it, I press this little black button on the side. 
and then I have a bit of paper that I write down the time that I pressed it and what symptom I was experiencing, like chest pain, dizziness, palpitations, stuff like that. Whew. Palpitations now, but I get them all the time, so I'm not going to press it. It's only if it goes over like a certain rate that I press it. Um, so like between like 160 and above 200 um, is when I usually press it, which could be sinus rhythm, but it's most likely to be SVT because the episodes come on suddenly and I haven't like suddenly stood up so it wouldn't make sense for it to be POTS because POTS is usually postural change but anywho so it's just this little monitor that I'm carrying around um, and so I'm going to put on my top now <laughs> I think we've shown enough I mean obviously it's just like wearing a bikini but anyway I think I feel like there's so much stigma around any being in your bra but anywho I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head out to the doctor's appointment. But let me know if you guys want me to do like a full video on like a halter monitor and I will do one for you. Oh dear. So we're on our way to the doctor's now, we're just leaving. And I just got halfway through, I was almost finished um, recording the halter monitor video. So hopefully I will get that done tonight and edited. And then if you guys do wanna see it, then um, Leave me a comment down below and I'll upload that for you tonight or tomorrow. It will be tomorrow. It will be after I've read your comments and stuff. But we're on our way to the doctors, so I'll let you know how it goes. And I'm also wearing double denim, like a boss. No, I only realised as I was leaving and I couldn't be bothered to go get another jacket, so. And the only other jacket that I've got in here is another denim one, so. Whoops. So, if you guys know, I'm all about brands here on my channel. Um, so I just, you know the other day when I went on about, well I didn't go on, but I said about when people don't hold open doors for you, did you guys think it was rude? And you all agreed and you were like, yeah, like we, like most of you guys were brought up, you know, you hold a door open for someone. Like if you're coming through a door and someone is there, you hold it open or vice versa. Like you, it's just, you know, common courtesy or whatever. But anyway, so I just had my blood taken, which is, I, I don't get it done all the time, but I get it done occasionally. And there's nothing nicer than a good phlebotomist. And as a phlebotomist myself, like it's not just about taking someone's blood, it's about patient care. Like, you know, you talk to them, you make sure, you know, that they've had it done before. They're not like a nervous person when it comes to getting blood taken. Like you're meant to check all those things. And like, I just had my blood taken by someone who literally didn't even like, they didn't even say, hey, they just like number 11. And I came in, could you take like a number? And then it was just like your name, your address, your date of birth, and it was there was no okay, a sharp scratch. I'm gonna go in now. It's literally just shove the needle in there, and that vein that she she did it really really close to a vein that's quite damaged, and it was so painful. And you know that was it. It was just it was kind of rough and rushed, and I don't like that. And just any of you out there, have you ever had blood taken? And it was a really bad experience because that's basically. Like if I ever need my blood taken now, yeah, and I go in that waiting room and I see her come out, I'll be like, nah, I'll get it done later. Yeah, exactly. Like Tom is like, petrified of having his blood taken, and that's something that's come from a bad experience being younger. And you know, I know for a fact, like if that was like him having it done, he would have been like, nah, no, we'll go a different day. Like it was just like you know, I don't think they people should like they they need people skills, don't they? Like, was, that was just lacking, like even Tom, like he was stood there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like he was like, oh my god. So um, anyway, we're on our way, well we'll be going to the chemist to get another prescription. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, we're on our way home and then I can finish off filming the halter monitor video that I was talking about before. Of course, you guys know, Tom is at it again with the bloody windscreen washer. <laughs> he genuinely loves it. <laughs> I don't know why you guys could see that, but he was like mimicking, like trying to strip and stuff. <laughs> so I'm sat here waiting for Tom to go and get the petrol or pay for the petrol. I'm, I'm feeling really like weird and my arm's hurting, so I'm just gonna test my blood sugar quickly. We got a bleeder. Literally. Why is there so much blood? What the heck? Tell her. Yep, that is a hypo. Sometimes I don't feel very symptomatic and then it really really hits So I'm glad that I'm not feeling that bad because it is quite low. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's 2.3 I've got palpitations. and I was about to press my cardiac monitor to record the event, but it's because I've got low blood sugar I think I might press it anyway and just write on there that that's why my heart was beating so fast 
spot. Let's get out my little medical pouch. Dextro gel. So I'm gonna open up that and treat this hypo. So like, look how shaky I am. Like, so I'm gonna treat that and I'll see you guys when we get home. Hopefully feeling a lot better. So sorry, I haven't really vlogged that much. Um, but before I forget, I'm gonna quickly open up my calendars. Also, the reason I'm wearing this sports bra, it does actually kind of fit on. I didn't think it would earlier, but it does. Um, so, what is the date today? The eight, did we open yesterday's? I think we did. It's the 18th. Seven more days to go. That should be my intro. Six more days to go. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm disappointed that it stopped with like the quotes and the superheroes. There you go. Done. Next year, I promise I'm gonna pick a much better calendar. Like, it's gonna be like makeup. Like, wait, focus. Like, when I can afford it, I'm definitely gonna buy like a brilliant calendar that's actually gonna make you guys excited. Earlier, guys, I ended up getting the On Danza Tron prescription, and you know how I said I already had one, but it was only for 10 tablets. It turns out that here you can only get 10 tablets prescribed to you. Anything more you can't get, um, only if you are a chemo patient, like you have cancer. Um, I know you can get chemo for other reasons, but still, I thought that was a bit um, ridiculous because there is a lot of other conditions besides cancer and besides chemo that cause severe nausea. Um, and get this, you can't do it as a public patient, so you have to go private. Like the prescription has to be private, um, which means I don't get any discounts with my healthcare card. So I had to pay $36 for 10 tablets. That is ridiculous. So I'm just going to stick with my cyclozine and then when I get severe, severe, like crippling nausea, then, only then, will I use my own Danzatron. Um, um, but what my doctor did, she prescribed me 8 milligrams and she said what, what you can do is you can snap the tablet in half and use half and then if you're okay with that, which I'm usually okay with 4 milligrams to be honest, um, but then if it's really severe then you can just take the whole tablet. Um, but she said that way, like hopefully... You'll be able to get 20 doses instead of 10. So, yes, I'm going to have to kind of do without unless I really, really need it. But I'm seeing my gastro January, the beginning of January, I think January the 9th. So when I see them, I'm just going to talk to them about it because I think they can maybe prescribe it. I'm not sure. But I'm going to say, hey, look, like, on Tanzatron is literally the only anti-sickness that works really, really well for me. Like, others... Like, don't really do much, um, but obviously like, I'll still take it because it doesn't do nothing, but it doesn't do much, like, compared to Ondanzatron. But anyway, guys, oh, what a day. I had another cardiac episode before, um, and I did put, I'm going to edit that into my um, video that I talked about. So if you guys do want to see, like, about, like, my whole time on a return and stuff, then I'll put that video up on my main channel. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head to bed soon because I'm really, really tired. <laughs> Um, and I need to edit yesterday's vlog and today's and the other video and I've got to send some emails so I'm ending this vlog a little bit earlier tonight just so I have time to do all of that and then I also have time to relax as well because around Christmas time guys like spending time with your family is so so important well it is for me like a fam like I'm a very like family orientated person and I like to spend a lot of time with my family so yeah I want to try and get tonight out of the way earlier so I can spend time with my family. <sighs> stressful times, stressful times. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And Vlogmas is almost over, um, but I will see you guys tomorrow.